Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So the big rumor in the NBA right now is the potential of Kyrie Irving and the Cleveland Cavaliers being traded to the New York Knicks for Chris God, Porzing God. Yes, guys, Chris Tops Porzingis, which I think for the Cavaliers would be a fantastic trade. Um, also, this trade would have to include the bitch ass contract of bitch ass Joakim Noah. So, uh, where's he at, man? 75 overall, 55 million dollars. Now, this is. I don't like because Joakim Noah has had some beef with LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers in the past. So uh, you know, I don't. My mindset is I want to get I want to get him off this team. I don't think he's a good fit here. But yeah, guys, we have Chris Tops Porzingis at the power forward position, 84 overall, only 22. I mean, I, I feel like if you gotta get rid of Kyrie, getting a guy like Chris Tops Porzingis is ideal because even if LeBron James were to leave this team. You still have a prime rebuilding piece with Chris Tops Porzingis. I mean, think about it this way. This is the player the Knicks were going to build around. So you still set yourself up for a pretty good future going forward. And who knows, man, maybe LeBron James will even stick around. While over here on the New York Knicks, we, of course, have Kyrie Irving, guys. 90 overall, instantly becomes their superstar point guard. And uh, maybe a reason Carmelo Anthony sticks around. Who knows? Who knows, guys? But yes, this is a Cavaliers rebuild. It's going to be a two-season rebuild, my friends. If you could do me a quick favor, please show that support and drop a like on this video. It really means a lot to me. Um, so my mindset with this rebuild is this. This first season, you know, I, I think for one, I got to get rid of Tristan Thompson. It's a $52 million contract. Um, and my mindset is probably to run Chris Tops at the center position, Kevin Love at the power forward position. And, uh, you know, Derrick Rose instantly becomes a starting point guard for this team, which he can more he's more than capable of doing. He's a fantastic point guard. And 2K, uh, game that bitch-ass 78 rating for 2K18 makes no damn sense because he had a better season last season than he did the year before. But, uh, yeah, um, Noah's got to go. Noah's got to go. And I'm thinking this, guys. If we don't win the championship this season and we try to keep LeBron James around, um, you know, Kevin Love will be an expiring deal after the season. So that will be um, a good asset to try to trade away. I'll probably get rid of, you know, Kevin Love. Uh, Tristan Thompson will be gone. Pretty much, you know, J.R. Smith will also be an expiring deal. Might try to get rid of him. Uh, Kyle Culver, that's not too bad of a contract. I don't, damn, he's 36, though, so I might actually try to get rid of that. I'm not really sure yet. But basically, we will have a lot of money freed up to try to say, like, yo, LeBron James, let's get you some players, man. Who do you want to play with? We, we, we're going to go out and get them for you. So that's going to be the mindset going forward. But first and foremost, uh, bitch-ass contract time off the block. Joe Kim, no, I will take literally anybody for you, man, anybody. Uh, that's not a bitch-ass contract. Now, both those guys got player options, so I don't want those. Lou all dang. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Nobody. Please. God damn, dude. Nobody wants him. All right. Let me uh, let me get Dwight Powell because I feel like we could probably swing him for something. Or maybe I'll keep him for the season. And uh, Yeah, I'll probably just do that. Just keep him for the season. I was like a good role player. Good backup power forward. And then uh, we'll try to get rid of him in the offseason. And next up, Tristan Thompson. Now, he probably has some sort of trade value, but I'm not going to like try to like search too much for it. I mean, I'll go through the trade finder here, but uh, in the end of the day, I just want to save that money. Nikola Mirotic. Uh, what else? We got Austin Rivers. Wesley Johnson. That's not too bad. Give us a good backup point guard now that uh, Eric Rose is going to be our starting point guard of the team. So, I might actually do that. What else we got here? Vince Carter. Trying to win him a championship. No, I'm thinking I like... Ooh, kind of, oh, that's a two-year deal. If that was a one-year deal, I would take Kenneth Fareed, but I'm not feeling that. Uh, Thaddeus Young. Sergi Bach. Uh, damn. So God damn. Why was all these... Dude's getting so much money like this. Damn. All right. And it's Cantor, 80 overall. Yo, I like that just from, like, us trying to win a championship. It's like, yo, that's a good backup center. It's on a one-year deal. I'm feeling that, guys. Let's get Ennis Cantor on this team. We'll be our sixth man. Plus, he's played sixth man in the past on the OKC Thunder, so I don't think we'll have any problem doing that. Uh, we are going to go ahead and switch Chris Tops to the center position. Stays at 84 overall, so that's fine with that. He's 7'3", so we can no doubt run that center position. Plus, the, uh, the stretching ability of the team. Oh, my God. Like, everybody can shoot except Derrick Rose, which is fine. I mean, you got, like, a mid-range shot, don't you? You got, you got 87 midi, 63, so that's not great, but it's all right. It's all right. We got Channing Fry on the bench, J.R. Smith. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I'm probably going to try to trade Dwight Powell now for a – probably a backup point guard because I do need one of those. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's hit up Dwight Powell real quick here. And, yeah, just give me a backup point guard. Anybody, man, anybody. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, ah, this is a three-year deal. I don't want that shit. Can't deal with... Oh, my God, dude. This is horrible. All right. Well, I'm not getting Dwayne Dedman again. I get him every single video. I mean, I guess Jose could play backup. I don't want him to. Let me toss him in the deal and see if that, like, entices us to get an actual point guard now. Mario Chalmers and Brand Wright, 74 overall center. Mario Chalmers, I mean, he used to play with LeBron James, so he's got that chemistry. Maybe they're still friends. I don't know. I always had, like, the sense that, like... Whenever things go get wrong, like all the players like look at Mario Chalmers, and be like you a bitch ass man. This is all your fault. 
Like, he never really, like, fit in with that team. I don't know, man. I'm sure I'm totally wrong with that. But, all right. I'm going to take away these minutes from Brandon Wright to give those to Mario Chalmers for backup point guard. And, overall, man, this team is looking... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, um, I think I'm going to start JR over Kyle Korver. I do like that move a little bit better. Not that Kyle Korver couldn't start. It's just uh, I'd rather have JR Smith starting. Um, but, yeah, guys, overall, this team looks pretty damn crispy to me. We got, you know, good big guys off the bench. We got good shooting out there. Of course, we got LeBron James. I don't see why this team could not win a championship this season. And if not, then, well, we're just going to get rid of all the bitch asses. I'm going to go ahead, guys, simulate this season. And we're going to see just how good this Chris Topps Porzingis team can really do. Okay, so as expected, the regular season went pretty good, guys. Finished second place behind the Toronto Raptors. Although we are our last game of the season against them, so we beat them. Uh, we will actually get the first seed in the Eastern Conference to so simulate through date and take the W right there, guys. Finish first place. MVP is Russell Westbrook yet again. All the stuff pretty much the same as usual. LeBron James, all NBA first team. Yo, we got like, uh, I don't know, Chris Tops anywhere? Probably not. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Check out these player stats on the season. I mean, we're in first place. With, I, like, I expect that for the regular season. Playoffs is where it matters, though. Uh, LeBron James, you know, 25 points, 11 rebounds. Damn, 12 assists, average in that triple double. Like, he's Oscar Westbrook out there, man. Oscar Westbrook. Um, Kevin Love, second lead scorer, 17 points, 10 rebounds. Good season for him. Derrick Rose, 16. Actually, got three leading scorer. Very surprised by that. Um, look at this, guys. NS Cantor was actually leading scorer over Chris Tiles Porzingis, who kind of averaged underwhelming stats. I mean, 12 points, 6.6 rebounds at the center position. The two blocks is nice. Uh, but that uh, rebounding is not good. Yo, what's a rebounding, man? Because that's like, that's not good at all for a 7-3 guy. Um, damn, he's got ass rebounding. So, yeah, I'm definitely thinking we don't win playoffs here. Um, I want to get him back in the power forward position because he did not, he not meant to be, uh, be playing no center with those bitch ass rebound numbers. But it's all good. Let's get to it. First round, the disrespected eighth seed, Boston Celtics. Similar like around, see how this goes. And, oh, oh, oh. Okay, got them four games still to being down two games to zero. Isaiah Thomas, their leading scorer at 39 points per game. Uh, we got LeBron James, 27, 13, 9. This dude's a man on a mission. Kevin Love with a solid 21 and 8. Uh, Ennis Cantor. Damn, dude, I might low-key resign this dude. Like, he's playing really good. Chris Tops, 12 and 3, only shot eight times. But still really consistent numbers, so that's good. And a double-double for Derrick Rose. Can't ask for much more than that. Except I could ask you to stop shooting those bitch-ass three-pointers because you were 60 overall, D. All right. Milwaukee Bucks. Simulate current round. And... Oh, my fuck! I'm Bucks, 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 give me a game, man. God. I know Yas Gian, Gian is the beast, and I can't even be mad because I would low-key root for the Bucks to win, guys, just because I love Giannis. I can't say his last name, but damn, dude, 25-7-4, balling on us. Jabari Burke, our only bitch ass Monroe. You know, 29 points for Kevin Love, played really well. LeBron James, whoo, 19-22-11, and 11. like you tell he wanted to win this game. Derrick Rowe, solid numbers. Bitch ass Porzingis. I can't. I'm sorry, man. This dude played like a scrub for us this season. He played like a scrub. And I think it's because he was at the center position. Similar to playoffs. I mean, I still got to keep him around, right? But uh, hopefully, we got like some bird rights or something on Kevin Love so we can try to bring him back for a sign and trade. Or maybe I'll. I don't know. I don't know the move at this point. Hopefully, some of LeBron James' friends uh, are free agents. All right. We are going to skip the NBA draft as we are the Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't think we have a draft pick on here anyway. So, yeah, let's get started on this, guys. Uh, rookie signings. Uh, yeah, we didn't have a draft pick, team player options. Uh, we do have a one, okay, a one team, a one year uh, deal for Porzingis. So we get him for five million dollars. That's fantastic. K. Feller might as well bring him back. LeBron James did accept his player option, so he's at least uh, you know open to listening up for things. And his candidate, uh, damn, he declined his, and Shumpert accepted his. I'm gonna try to get rid of him probably. Just save some money. All right, qualifying offers, my free agents. All right, let me make sure trades are turned back on here too. Uh, let's see. Okay, trades. Turn those on real quick. All right, my free agents, Derrick Rose, how much money you want? Damn, dude, he wants that bitch-ass contract again. I'm sorry, you're not worth $24 million anymore. I'm sorry, you're just not. Uh, Ennis Cantor, I'm going to see, although Derrick Rose does have bird rights, so I might just get him just for the sake of, uh, you know, having him as, like, a backup point guard going forward. Not getting bitch-ass Durant, not doing that. Chris Paul, get that banana bowl squad going. Ooh, he wants the low low, guys. Yo, Chris Paul for the low low. Let's go, go. All right, uh, first I got to trade away. Yo, let me get rid of... Yeah, let me get rid of Shumper. Hopefully, it doesn't piss off CP3 and he still resigns with us. All right, I just want to... I, I want to get a draft pick for you if we can do that. There we go. Give me the draft pick. Come on, Chris. Now, now he's, now he's going to be like, oh, I, you know, Shumper was my best friend, so I don't want to sign with you now, guys. Not for that much. Come on, CP3. Come on, man. Oh, fuck my God, man. 
That's the shit that pisses me off so much about this game. It's like, that would not happen. Chris Paul would not go from signing 4 million and then, to, you know, wind the 30 million just because Chris Paul or just because uh, what's his name's gone. That makes no damn sense to KR. Right, let me try this. Let me go for a, yo, I, can't, I guess I can't really get a free agent, can I? All right, let me go for like a, like a 70, like a 75 overall free agent. Somebody we can get for like the minimum. There we go. Because what I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking I got a finesse, guys. All right, come on, man. Come on, come on, 2K. Okay, we got Wayne Ellington for that cheap. So now Chris Paul, now there's a 75 overall player. He might be uh, enticed. Nope, he's still not enticed to do it. Makes no sense, 2K. All right. Let's go with this trade fine. Let's see what we can get for a Kevin Love. I mean, it's a one-year deal. Toss him in, maybe with the J.R. Smith. Also a uh, first-round draft pick. This should be able to get us something pretty damn. Ooh, Markel Fultz. Yo. Crispy likes, man. Give us our point guard of the future. Al Horford, J. Crown, not bad deal. Danilio, no. Ooh, that's nice too. Oh, that's really nice. That's nice from the sense that it's like, hey, we're trying to go for a championship. But come on a one-year deal, Dwight Howard, Rudy Gobert. See, I'm thinking, though, guys, we trade this. Marvin Bagley, that's a really good trade also. All these are really good trades. I'm thinking we go for Markel Fultz because he's only a $7 million deal. But also, this frees up a ton of money where we can also sign another big-name free agent. So, it seems like the right move. Give us a good point around this team um, and, you know, leave some money open for free agency, too. So, we're going to go with that. Free agency. Although, we might be able to get Chris Paul now. Ooh, I I'm going to throw him the offer. I'm going to throw him the offer because I was put Markel as shooting guard, which I think he would do fine at anyway. So, we'll do that. Um, Joel Embiid got that restricted. Marcus Aldridge, Mello, might be able to get him cheap. No, not really feeling that. Although, I, I throw him an offer. Why not? Uh, DeAndre Jordan, Dwayne Wade. You can get the whole banana ball squad going here. All right, let's see what it's looking like. Okay, Dwayne Wade did accept his offer. Uh, Chris Paul did not. So, all right, let me get Dwayne Wade back on this team. I'll do that. So, we got D. Wade, Markel Fultz in the backcourt. I'm fine with that. Uh, we got... Okay, money situation's not, like, fantastic now. Let me see if I can, like, trade away, uh, we got more, like, bitch-ass contracts to trade. Kyle Korver, I could do without him. I really could. That rating's gonna be going all uh, way down now, so yeah, just give me a draft pick for him. Should free up some more money. Maybe be able to throw one more max contract offer at somebody. Uh, let's go to, here we go. Uh, LaMarcus would actually be a really nice, ooh, we, we just, just can't, uh, offer him a contract. All right, let me try to do a little bit less. There we go. Okay, he's still thinking about it. Melo's still thinking about it, too. Who else could we get? Jabari, I'll throw him the offer, but we probably won't be able to. Here we go. Ooh, there, there's Melo, guys. There's Melo. We got three players of the Banana Bowl squad. Like, that is, that's, that's like LeBron's best friends right there. I'm thinking we got to do it. Oh, I can't for some reason. All right. Why can't I get him? All right, let me go to this trade finder real quick here. Uh, although, I, I can't really afford to get right nobody else. Like, this is it. All right, well, I guess I can't get you, Mello. Let me decline you real quick. All right. Can I get you, Bari? Come on, come on. God damn it, I knew that shit was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. All right. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. I was losing Marcus now, too. All right, we still got Mello up here. He's, like, just shy. You know, I'd rather have LaMarcus than Mello at this point. Plus, I've never really used LaMarcus before in this game. So, uh, him and Chris Tops. I mean, we still got to run Chris Tops as center, which is fine, I guess. All right, we'll get LaMarcus. That's a pretty damn decent-looking team. Let's get Derek Rose back since we do have the bird rights on him anyway, so uh, that's fine. Come on, come on, come on, Der Derek. All right, he'll be our backup point guard. Uh, how much bitch ass wants? All right, he wants too much money. What about, like, a Shabazz? No. O'Quinn? No. I probably can't afford... Yo, Larry Sanders would be kind of nice on this team. Let's get him. Uh, how much does Cantor want? Ooh, I, ooh, I, th I think I can get him. All right. I don't know why I can get him. I don't have bird rights on him. Which makes no sense to me. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, there we go. 2K is just a bitch-ass game sometimes. All right, um, shooting guard. Got, like, a Ronnie Stuckey. We got Nick Stauskas. Get some shooting out there. Come on, I want, I want Canner back. I want him, man. I want him. Uh, who else we got? Luke. Ooh, he, that's actually a really good sign, because he's, like, low-key really good in this game. Uh, so we got him. What about, like, a Tony Allen? Is he around? No. Metal for the low low. They're going to be so close to getting him, man. All right, I'm, I'm going to go all the way down. I, he's not going to accept it, but who knows? Come on, come on, Melo. Come on, Melo, just accept the shit. It's not that he's insulted. We insulted Carmelo. It's only $1 million more. Dude, LeBron James will give it to you. All right, whatever. Let's go to player progression here, guys. See what this is looking like here. Um, overall, the free agency went pretty good. Like We definitely put together a nice-looking you know, looking team right here. Um, I don't, 
I think we're better than last season. If anything, we set ourselves up for a good future. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead, man, and make the lineup real quick. Okay, so here's our final lineup, guys. Like I was saying earlier, if anything, if we don't win this season, it still sets our team up for a pretty good future. So, I don't see why the Cavaliers would not make these kind of deals out here. Um, only, like, really bad thing about this team is LaMarcus and Chris Tops are both horrible rebounders. Like, LaMarcus is in, like, the 60 range. And we all know what Chris Tops, what he did last season, like, six rebounds for the 7-3 player. But... Who knows, man? Like, it's just got to be, like, a team effort. Everybody's got to grab some boards out there. Uh, we got Derrick Rose as a six, man. We got Luke out here, 76 overall. Wayne Ellington for some shooting. Larry Sanders, decent center, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and simulate this final season. We're going to see if we can win this NBA championship. Okay, so second place in the Eastern Conference, just behind the Washington Wizards, who really balled out this season. Simulate through day against the Miami Heat, and we get the W right there. Uh, MVP, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, damn, dude. He seems like he always puts it like crazy or says every single time I do a rebuild. Uh, Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year on the Hawks. Jeremy Lin, LeBron James, Defensive Player. Okay. Damn, look at those numbers, guys. Averaging a triple-double again, but also getting Defensive Player of the Year, which is crazy. Uh, Frank Nilekina of the Knicks. Look at him go. Looks like Kyrie might have not worked out there very well. They got a new star point guard. All right. Okay, so player stats on the season. See how everybody did out here. Uh, we got LeBron James, we know his stats. Yo, Chris Tops actually did a lot better this season. About 17 points. And look at this, guys. Nine rebounds a game. So, definitely improved there. Derrick Rose, actually third leading scorer off the bench at about 15 points per game. Also, five assists. 14 for Dwayne Wade. Uh, Markel Fultz, 14.6 assists. LaMarcus, actually rebound out there pretty good, too. So, this team actually performed a lot better than I thought they would have. I mean, so you still got LeBron James, so anything's possible, right? Um, but first round of playoffs, we do have the Boston Celtics yet again. Simulate current round. See how this goes. And got them four games to one. Okay, okay. Uh, 27 points for Markel Fultz in the closeout game. 23, 10, and 9 for LeBron. Double-double for Chris Tops and for LaMarcus. Love seeing that. Yo, whenever... Anytime Sean Kilpatrick is your leading scorer, you know that's not good for your team. Yo, where's Isaiah Thomas? He's not on this team anymore. Yo, they got Rondo. They got Rondo back. Okay. Um, here we go, man. We got Kyrie Irving. We got Kyrie Irving in the New York Knicks against LeBron James. That would be a crazy playoff series to watch. Simulate current rounds. No! God damn it, man! Ronnie, for the little fuck up, bitch. You, got, you better fucking PayPal me some fucking money for the goddamn new uh, PlayStation controller. I'm sick of ruining this shit. My God. I'm smashing embarrassing amount of controllers, man. Goddamn New York pricks got us. I don't even really mean that. Oh, my God, dude. Kyrie Irving... Getting the last laugh in the end of the day. I thought this team was going to win a championship. The team looked pretty damn good, dude. We got veterans out there. We got superstar rookies, or I guess sophomores at this point. We got a god, Porzing God himself. But we don't got buckets. We didn't get buckets, guys. Anyway, my friends, hope you all enjoyed this video. We actually got the New York Knicks make it to the finals. Getting swept by the Golden State Warriors. Draymond Green actually finals MVP. Good for him, I guess. Thank you all so much, my friends. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out.